Hey, everybody, Aaron here, sitting out on my porch, having my coffee before the sun starts beating down on me. Well, I have to tell you, yesterday, this is being filmed on the 4th of July. Still got my patriotic hat on. Yesterday, somebody left me a comment. Star left me a comment down in the comment section. So the conversation started out with her saying, um, did I miss something, Anne? Did you run out of rain? I told her that I did. And then she said, I pray in Jesus' name for rain to come Anne's way. Amen and amen. And then it started pouring down rain. Well, I didn't know she'd left me the comment. But I went back after I did all I needed to do um, to get things ready for the rain and saw that she had left me that comment. And, oh, there's a skink. Awesome. Anyhow, um, and the timing of her comment coincided with exactly when it started raining. So, yeah, I am blessed and prayer does work and God does provide. Anyhow, so I had forgotten that I had left all my buckets in the, the back of my truck and I normally put them under the eaves of the roof to capture more water. So I was scrambling in the rain to try and get them all in there and pull them apart and put them under the roof. I pulled the uh, wagon underneath the awning that's like right out in front of me because uh, it captures rain and it comes down off of it. So I'm going to go and see how much rain I got. Well, the wagon is pretty much full, so that's awesome. Would have been almost full too, but I forgot to put the plunger in. But that's okay because the initial rain came and washed it out really well. So I got a little rain in there. Let's see how the pond is doing. It is full. Yeah, there's still plenty of uh, little tadpoles swimming around. Some of them have gotten really super big. I've seen some hind legs, but this, before it rained, was just down to this area, so I'm glad that it rained. We really, really needed it. I'm just standing here right now, and I can already see that one. Look how much is in there. I think that that's, let's see, 250 gallons. So I'm betting we have maybe 100, 150 gallons in there. So let's see what's over here. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Same thing over here. It is all the way to right here, so that's 75 gallons. Uh, yeah, so maybe, I don't know, I don't, I think that may be about 75 gallons as well, but it's more than I had before. That is so awesome. Let's look over here at this one. This one's a little bit harder to see. I think, oh, yep, it's to right here. So this is a 350-gallon tank, so I'm thinking we got about 100 gallons in here as well. This rain barrel, it's not set up to capture very well, but I'd say that there's probably about a quarter of this 55-gallon tank that's got water in it. So what I need to do is set up a better way for it to capture water um, because it doesn't have a large surface area and it's not right up underneath the eaves. But it got a little bit. Look at this one. Look at this one. This one has holes in it. And that's the two buckets I couldn't get apart. Totally full. Totally full. <laughs> that is completely full. That one completely full. And this one has about... It's almost half filled. I don't know, maybe about... A little bit more than one-third filled. So what I'll do is I'll just take the water from these different buckets and put them in um, this one and the 55 gallon one over there so that they're underneath a screen so that uh, little buggies can't breed in them and uh, cause cause a ruckus. Oh my gosh you guys you have no idea how relieved I am. Whew. This corn is looking so much better. And I'm, I'm noticing more corn coming up. There's another one forming like right here. Got one there, got one there. There's another one forming there. These are starting to form corn now. That one, that one, there's a small one forming there. Got one there, there. Um, I, I'm thinking these, yep, there's another one forming there. These are the only two, well, three that I don't see any on. But some of this corn is getting kind of big. It is. 
I am just so happy. Oh my gosh. Like I said, I may not have a ton of corn, but at least I know I can grow it out here now. Wonderful. Well, I knew that the these aren't staked up very well at all. I've got to do something because look at this is this is bending. I've got to fix these today. But um, yeah, I didn't do so good staking these up. But they're all looking pretty healthy. I've got to pick some more of these tomatoes off today um, because they're plenty ripe. Yep, see those over there? I may just take all three of those. Definitely this one. Anything that's kind of red. Um, and I'm going to start preserving them in, in jars. So, oh my gosh. My gosh. I don't have to water my plants today. No, I don't. Oh, look it. Look it. They're getting bigger. Oh my gosh. They sure are. Look at those. Yeah, I may go ahead and pick those today too, even though they're these are jumbo jalapenos. But um, I'm going to pick a few of them a little bit smaller, maybe stimulate some more growth. And I know I've got a couple yellow summer squash down there, still too small, but oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, I'm so relieved. Yeah, i got to fix these. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Oh my gosh. I won't be doing tomatoes like this again. I'm going to get some better steaks and I'm going to put them more secure into the ground, but it, they're still standing two back here they have they can go out and free range but they've just been sticking in their yard I, I know it's hard filming through this it's hard to see it but they're doing great but they're just kind of afraid to leave the yard I don't know I think I need to encourage them a little bit more because they need to go find some food because I'm not leaving a whole lot of food in here for them so that they can go out and find their own grub sweet babies Let's see if we can't encourage you to go and be free. I want you to be free. I'm ducking under netting right now. Come on, guys. All the way back there. I need to clean up that fence area. Well, we're on day three of dehydrating these. They were almost done yesterday and it got really, really humid and uh, then it started raining. I mean, they were inside when it started raining, but the humidity just caused them to reuptake some of that moisture. So it's kind of cloudy today, but I'm hoping that this will be the last day. Oh, look at him. Papa's such a good boy. This is my harvest for today. Three celebrity tomatoes, a bunch of uh, cherry tomatoes. Yeah, some of them need to ripen a little bit more. Um, and some jalapeno peppers. Now these didn't reach the jumbo size, but I figured I'm gonna go ahead and pull a few off the plants to see if I can encourage more growth. And two little tiny baby eggplants. Now this breed that I've got, or this, I don't know, strain or whatever you call it, um, they are tiny eggplants. They don't get much bigger than this. The one on the right is probably a little bit too small, but it, it had been on the vine for a while. So I figured I'm going to go ahead and pull those and see if, uh, see what they look like on the inside. Anyhow, I'm sweating. It's been a great 4th of July. It has, I hope all of yours went well too. Um, it's super hot and I'm sitting outside because there's a cool breeze. If there's a breeze, if I can keep fans on me and Papa, we do okay. I'm trying to save on propane because when he has his surgery, I want him to be nice and cool and comfortable. Um, I don't want to be miserable. He's kind of miserable right now, but I always keep a fan on him. Anyhow, um, a little harvest, a lot of water, oh my gosh, you don't know how much better I slept last night knowing I was going to get water. So, that's good. Anyhow, that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.